Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss about uh, CRC. CRC stands for cyclic redundancy check and it is one of the error detection method like parity check and uh, checksum. So it is also one of the error detection method but uh, uh, compared to other techniques the CRC is a very powerful technique and it detects the error with a higher uh, degree of probability and it is used for validating the communication between the two devices. There are 8-bit, 16-bit and 32-bit uh, CRCs and depending upon the application requirement the type of uh, the CRC is selected uh, in the design itself. And here I am going to discuss about 8-bit CRC, how it is generated and um, how it is calculated between the sender and the receiver. And the same can be extended to 16-bit uh, and 32-bit uh, CRC. Here we can see there are two devices, device 1 and device 2, which are exchanging information. So device 1 sending the uh, information and in addition to that it also attaches the CRC and what device 2 will do so it receives the data and it calculates the CRCs again for the bytes and it checks the calculated CRC with the received CRC and whenever this um, both the um, CRCs are matched then device 2 understood that the error, there is no error in the communication and the data is valid and the same device 2 extends uh, that exchange the data with device 1 with the CRC. In order to take the advantage of uh, the power of the CRC, the, it is uh, CRC is a very powerful technique means so it detects all the types of errors with a higher degree of the probability. In order to take this advantage, so it is used in uh, various uh, serial communication uh, um, uh, protocols like Ethernet or it is also used in Modbus, uh, CAN and so many other protocols. Uh, this uh, CRC is widely used for uh, detecting the errors and validating the communication and for this purpose, so an understanding of what is CRC and how it is work and how it is calculated uh, we need to know. So for calculating the CRC's value means by the devices that is it can be a sender or receiver. So it can be done either uh, in hardware or by using a software uh, code. So this is an example where this 8-bit CRC is used. So one-way protocol is using this 8-bit CRC. So this one-way protocol devices are uh, from uh, Dallas Semiconductor and now it is maximum. So this one-way protocol devices is having this 64-bit uh, code. So an out of 64-bit code, 8-bit is the family code and 48-bit is the serial code. For this 56-bit, so an 8-bit CRC is calculated and it is exchanged for ensuring the valid communication. So CRC is basically on a division. So it's basically a division. So division consists of a dividend, divisor, remainder and quotient. Here uh, the dividend so which we are going to divide is the binary input stream that is in input uh, data so which is divided by a polynomial so which is known as the divider so this polynomial uh, is uh, selected depending upon the application requirement so the remainder of this division is the crc value here if you consider this is our information which need to be set so c2 so it is binary is 11000010 and CRC polynomial which I have selected is x power 8 plus x power 5 plus x power 4 plus 1. This is one of the CRC polynomials. There are so many other polynomials. So these um, protocols are using and this uh, one wire uh, protocol using this uh, CRC polynomial and the bit that uh, the CLC polynomial is 10011001. So and how these bits we are uh, getting is from this. These bits are the coefficient of this polynomial. So this is the data which are going to transmit and uh, the divisor. So the, de the divisor is the polynomial which is having n plus 1 bits where n is the uh, number of the CRC bits. Here we are uh, generating 8 bits CRC. So here it is 8 means this polynomial is having 9 bits. And the dividend so is which we are going to divide is uh, data bits plus we are appending n zeros to that means if we, it is an 8 bit CRC then 8 zeros are need to be append to the data which we are going to transmit and this finally the dividend becomes so C C2 and these are the 8 zeros. So this is uh, how this division is done so this is the um, divisor which is polynomial bits and this is the data which is going to be transmit so uh, we are dividing with this divisor so this is uh, this is basically a binary addition without carry over if you see a binary addition if we add one and one we are getting zero and we are getting carry 
so here uh, in this we are uh, not considering the carry over so this is basically known as an um, modulo 2 arithmetic and this operation is similar to exclusive or so 0 1 1 means it's a 0 exclusive or operation 1 0 means 1 0 0 means 0 0 1 means 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 is 1 so it's basically an exclusive or operation and then uh, so we are uh, bringing uh, getting down this 0 so then again uh, this uh, we are dividing with this uh, polynomial divisor and we are same operation so exclusive or operation here 1 1 means 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 means 0 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 1 0 0 is 0 1 0 is 1 0 1 is 1 here we are see here getting two zeros so we need to get two uh, zeros to be dropped here so first zero for dropping the second zero we need to put in this quotient and a zero and then we need to drop that zero and again division so one so this is the divisor which is getting here and this operation continues here you can see it is same operation two two zeros and finally the remainder is you can see two five it's hexadecimal so it's a two five and this is the data which uh, the sender will send along with this data c2 plus crc25 what the receiver will do it will calculate uh, this again it will perform the division operation on this here you can see this is c2 and this is 25 um, and it is again performs the division operation finally the remainder need to be get zero if there are any error means any if there are no bit changes so the remainder will be zero if any bit changes occurs so the remainder will not be zero and the receiver will understood there is an error and ask for retransmission or it can also ask for uh, stopping the communication so this crc can also be uh, generated in by using a shift register and excuse or so this is commonly uh, done by using hardware implementation how the crcs are done using hardware implementation means it uses the shift register and exclusive or so how this is done we will discuss here so here the first we need to load the crc register means 8 bit register here we, load, we need to load with zero and then we what we have to do we have to shift the input data bit by bit into this crc register so if the popped out msb of the crc register is zero then we have to continue the shifting operation or if the popped out bit of this msp is one then what we have to do we have to do the exclusive or between the register value and the generator polynomial so here I will discuss with an example in the coming um, uh, slide. So if all the inputs are uh, bits are handled or shift, then this final uh, CRC shift register contains the actual CRC value which need to be transmitted along with the actual data. So here we can see the hardware implementation of the CRC how it is done. Here this is the polynomial which we are using. So this is the eighth stage. So X naught to X seven are the bits. This is the MSP bit and this is the LSP bit. And uh, these are the bit uh, which input the bit which need um, uh, added to the shift register. And this is the MS uh, bit that is popped out. And this is the bit that is determining whether you need to perform exclusive or, or need to be continue the shift operation. This we will discuss with an uh, example. This is the truth table of the exclusive or zero zero means zero. So this I already, already discussed. One zero means one. One one means zero. This is the data which are going to transmit, and how it is uh, the CRC is calculated using the shift register and exclusive or. I will discuss in this example. So CRC polynomial is this, and CRC polynomial uh, bits are here. Uh, is this? This is the ninth bit which we are omitted in this. Uh, uh, example means in this uh, calculation by using exclusive or and uh, shift register so this is the one then these are the eight bits so we are omitting the ninth bit so zero zero one one and triple zero one so this is basically a hexa value three two of this uh, polynomial uh, crc crc polynomial and this is the first we have to register the crc um, register with these all zeros and this is the data so which we need to uh, append which need to be transmitted or shifted to this uh, crc register so the data plus n zero bits n is the number of uh, 
um, bits in the CRC register here this is the C2 and these eight zeros were appended and first we shifted one to this LSP so the MSB that is popped out with zeros and what we have to do we have to continue the shifting process so we need to shift until the popped out bit so here you can see the popped out bit from this MSB is one here what we have to do we have to perform the exclusive or operation of this uh, register CRC register uh, with the polynomial bits CRC polynomial bits and we are need to perform exclusive or so one zero means one zero 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 one one zero one one so finally this is your next CRC register which need to be uh, loaded and we need to continue the operation so this is the CRC and then we need to continue the operation so whenever again the power output is one again we need to perform the exclusion this is the register and this is the CRC polynomial and this is the resultant CRC register which need to be continued for further operation and if you see finally we are getting this C after shifting all the bit so this is the final CRC register so which is having a value of 25 which is a uh, uh, matching to our uh, value that we get in division operation 25 and this receiver will again will uh, do the same operation and again it will compares the CRC value calculated and uh, the CRC value that is received and if it is both the values are matched then uh, the it uh, considers an error free transmission and uh, it will again uh, it transmits the data and other way of uh, computing uh, these uh, CRC is by using software code because the devices uh, which are exchanging the information by using various serial protocols we have, you are having uh, microprocessors and microcontrollers uh, and uh, implementing the CRC or generating the CRC um, using software code is uh, uh, easy and it also uh, very fast whenever in a lot, um, we are transmitting more number of bytes this is the true uh, lookup table so for our polynomial which i have considered in this example so for different polynomials this true lookup table will change so it is having an 8 bit crc so um, it is having uh, 256 uh, different uh, values in the lookup table and this lookup table is used for calculating uh, the crc value here this is the function for generating your CRC value here there are seven bytes which is transmitted from sender to receiver so byte 1 to byte 7 so earlier case we have discussed only for a single byte how to calculate the CRC if more number of bytes are being transmitted then software implementation is easy and it is also fast so this is the length which you are going to transmit so this is 7 and initial uh, CRC value is 0, 0 which you need to be load and this is the index means for calculating the next step uh, value so this is the index so CRC value into byte so this is the byte 1 means this is 0 2 and we will get some value then will become the index for the next so that is the updated uh, CRC value so this is the index we will uh, take from the CRC table so this is the table we need to get and we need to update and then the next value is calculated and so this is explained with an example here so this is the current crc value 00, zero. and this is the input data so this is the byte one and the index so exclusive or between these two becoming the index for the next uh, crc register so two so table of 2 so here you can see so table of 2 means 0 1 2 so 188 is our next uh, index value so this is um, 188 so means which is a bc so next uh, crc value is bc and then the input data is next is 1c here loaded input data 1c and exclusive are between these two again we are getting uh, a0 that is 160 decimal and table of 160 this is uh, new index so for calculating or for updating the CRC register table of 160 if you see here so table of 160 means so it's a 175 
so this operation continues so finally we are getting this uh, crc value is a2 so which will be transmitted along with this byte so this byte 1 to byte 7 and also crc is transmitted from sender to the receiver and what the uh, receiver will do receiver again will calculate the crc for these bytes using the same procedure and it will uh, what it will do it will again exclude ors between the calculated crc and and uh, received uh, crc and finally the value should be zero then it considers the uh, error free transmission and then it can uh, send the data or it can do whatever the action the uh, sender has uh, been asked so the like this the 16 bit crc also can be calculated and also 32 bit crc can be calculated so this uh, 16 bit and 32 bit crc are used in different other protocols as per uh, the requirement Thank you for watching my video.